Right, hi again. Um, now we move to the hand. Um, we have learned when we were talking about the forearm that we have flexor pollicis longus. We also had abductor pollicis longus. And you might be wondering where is the flexor pollicis brevis? And where is the abductor pollicis brevis? Um, it's right here in, um, in the hand. So around the thumb here, we have three muscles. Uh, two of them you can see, and the third one you have to remove this, and that's why I brought this other model to show you what happens when you remove um, this particular muscle here. So we have abductor pollicis brevis. Let me try to zoom in. So we have abductor pollicis brevis, and we have here flexor pollicis brevis. Brevis means short. If I to remove the abductor pollicis brevis, I will see underneath it another muscle called opponents, which you can see better in this model. So if I am to remove, if I am to open this up, open, then I will see the opponents. If you forget, then it's open to see the opponents. Okay? Those three muscles will be supplied by the median nerve. The action is obvious. It's from their name. So this one will cause um, abduction of your thumb. This will cause flexion of your thumb. And the opponents will do the opposition uh, movement between the thumb and the little finger. It moves the thumb towards um, the pinky finger. Okay? Opponents muscle and uh, opponents uh, pollicis, of course, opponents pollicis. Those three would be the median nerve. But what about this muscle? That we call adductor pollicis. Adductor, it causes adduction of your thumb. Adductor pollicis. You probably can see it better in this model if I remi remove the lumbricals and some of the tendons. I would see the adductor pollicis muscle. This is the adductor pollicis, okay? The adductor pollicis and all the muscles lateral to it, or medial to it, I apologize, all the muscles medial to it will receive ulnar nerve. So as you can see, the ulnar nerve is giving you branches here to your adductor pollicis. Here we have um, two more muscles one of the three more muscles um, for the little finger, pinky finger, uh, we will have abductor digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, and we have flexor digiti minimi, flexor digiti minimi, abductor digiti minimi, and if you remember the rule, in order to see the opponents, you have to open up. So you see the opponents when you open up your model um, to see the opponent's digiti minimi, just like you saw the um, opponent's pollicis um, over there by opening your model. Okay? So, to recap, we have four muscles here that are con in control of your thumb. 